Let's take a look at the nuclear fusion process that naturally occurs in the sun and the stars in our truly magnificent universe. Nuclear fusion is the main method used to produce energy in the sun. Extremely high temperatures and pressures inside the sun's core provide a setting that is ideal for fusion. The proton-proton chain is a common name for the fusion process that occurs in the sun. Here are the basic steps of the proton-proton chain. 1. Proton-proton fusion. In the first step of proton-proton fusion, two hydrogen nuclei, or protons, collide, thus overcoming the electrostatic repulsion between them. As a result of this occurrence, a proton changes into a neutron by a process known as beta plus decay, emitting a positron and a neutrino in the process. The second proton is unaltered. Therefore, the end products of this reaction is a deuterium nucleus, which is one proton and one neutron. 2. Deuterium capture. In the second step, a second proton is added to the deuterium nucleus created in the first step to create a helium-3 nucleus, two protons and one neutron. A gamma-ray photon is released by this process. This brings us on to number three, helium-3 fusion. There are two possible routes for the helium-3 nucleus created in the step explained. These are Path 1. Helium-3 fusion. When two helium-3 nuclei collide, a helium-4 nucleus, which consists of two protons and two neutrons, are produced. Two protons, two gamma-ray photons, and a significant quantity of energy are released in this process. Path 2. Helium-3 capture. A helium-3 nucleus captures a helium-4 nucleus to create a beryllium-7 nucleus, which contains four protons and three neutrons. A gamma-ray photon is released by this process. 4. Beryllium-7 decay. A lithium-7 nucleus, which is three protons and four neutrons, is created when the beryllium-7 nucleus experiences beta minus decay. An electron, an antineutrino, as well as some energy, are released in this process. The lithium-7 nucleus does not directly take part in subsequent fusion processes within the sun after the beryllium-7 decay. As was mentioned in the earlier steps of the proton-proton chain, the primary reactions in the sun's core involve the fusion of protons to generate helium nuclei. The proton-proton chain, in its entirety, consists of a succession of fusion reactions that change hydrogen atoms into helium atoms, thus releasing energy in the form of gamma-ray photons and other particles. Our solar system receives heat and light from the sun thanks to this amazing energy.